Okay, so it's Andrea. It's been a it's been a minute since I made a video. Um, you know, there's a season for everything, and it has not been the season lately to make these videos. But uh, there's something that's been on my mind, and I think most people get it to some degree. The notion of dropping things, right? Letting go, letting stuff go, and we talk about it a lot. We talk about letting it go. Uh, somebody pointed out to me a while back and I, th I loved the uh, invitation invitation to kind of contemplate this some more a little more deeply uh, I, there's a richness that comes when we take a concept a phrase a word uh, some part of our vocabulary that you know maybe it gets a little too commonplace and we forget to lean into it a little look for new levels of it so letting go versus letting things fall away or things falling away so you know in nature uh, leaves fall off the trees at the appointed time right the leaves just fall away the tree doesn't have to say hey leaf I drop you <laughs> you know and I think that's really key. Um, we talk a lot about doing our inner work and the process of letting things go and like it's an action that we have to take and so what's arisen for me recently is uh, things do fall away. As we rise in our vibration, in our frequency, in our awareness, as we continue to expand uh, things just naturally fall away. Uh, relationships, work situations, clients, habits, practices that we've done for a long time that maybe no longer really serve us. Um, you know, things that have been habitual or relationships that have been around for a long time and the it happens faster and faster and faster um, versus us you know processing something really like I'm going to drop it I'm gonna let this go I'm done right that is a thing it is a thing uh, that we all do and when we make a decision there's a turning point a choice point to uh, no longer stay in a situation or um, uh, maybe a mindset that that doesn't help us that doesn't help us keep on our path uh, to grow and expand but when things do fall away and this is where it gets really rich for me this contemplation of uh, we don't have to do anything for things to fall away in their appointed time when we are focused on our heart on raising our vibration on um, uh, letting go of judgment and accepting things um, oh it's this beautiful shift right going from judgment to perception there was most of my life I was operating in perception um, just noticing right there's a brick wall uh, I didn't have a judgment necessarily about the brick wall um, there's a person she's got purple hair and she's wearing a, a short skirt it was an observation it wasn't a, a, a judgment about the color of her hair or the length of her skirt right so these were things but what this has to do with dropping things or letting them fall away so that's that's a thing we we shift um, we can let judgment drop and shift back into a natural state of perception of awareness that's one thing the option that we have the there's a choice like I said there's a choice point at which when things fall away and maybe we weren't necessarily cognitively ready 
for them to fall away. We weren't ready for that person to be gone from our life. Uh, there's this habitual sort of pattern we have of clinging, of grasping. Um, the tree doesn't say, hey, leaves, come back, come back, you know. But as people, we do. You know, we have a hard time, especially when this, this um, ego, this artificial intelligence, this program that we've accepted as a fact, starts to rally, starts to speak up, starts to scream and stomp its feet. And we're like, no, I'm not ready to let go. I'm not ready. Uh, bring it back. I want it back. And so that we are going and picking it right back up, or we're trying, we can't actually. So we keep ourselves in this layer of suffering uh, that is unnecessary. And it's really beautiful to work through that process. If you find yourself in something, somebody or something has shifted in your life, there's a change. And, it, you know, can you accept, can you just allow yourself to be in that new space, that new energetic, um, be there just as you are, meet the sorrow or the sadness, because it's not to say that when something falls away, there isn't a level of sadness or sorrow or grief. There may also be immense joy, right? It may have been a, a weight, a burden that you carried. These things unpack layer by layer, getting more granular as you go further and further in your, um, in your personal journey. And we don't have to run from any of it or try to hide it, uh, hide from it. But just notice when you're going back and trying to get back what has gone. It's sometimes very fast, very subtle. Um, and what happens is we end up, if we spend too much time desperately wanting something back, trying to hold on to the memory or trying to hold on to the person who is no longer a match for us, um, and this could be anyone. It could be a child. It could be a parent. It could be a, a best friend. It could be a lover, a spouse. It could be a co-worker, right? Any of that. Uh, just allow yourself to notice. Be very gentle. Just be gentle with yourself. And notice where you are. Take some beautiful cleansing breaths. Get a little outdoor time, maybe a little quiet time, and observe, observe where you're trying to hold, you know, you can't grasp, the tree can't grab the fallen leaves, we can't hold on to the clouds moving, everything is impermanent, everything is transient, it may seem permanent, but in the overall scope of eternity, it's, this is just a blip, this is just a blip, and you're here to learn what you need to learn, so turn the lens, ask different questions to yourself, noticing always what is in it for you, uh, by that I mean uh, if you're feeling slighted because something's fallen away, or you're feeling sorrowful, right? Just ask yourself, what, how is this falling away serving my highest and best? And anyways, these are just tips. I, t the things that I've had to navigate um, and we all do. And so just a little contemplation. I hope that, you know, it, it helps you in some way. If you're looking for that um, deeper understanding of letting go uh, versus falling away. Uh, anyways, that's what I got for you today. And have a beautiful day uh, wherever you are, however you are. And know that you are loved. You are loved. And you are loved. And 
I can't wait to see your light shining ever so brightly. So have a beautiful day, people. Love you.